Good morning. Welcome back to, well, this is technically a breakfast for me, but we'll call it Lunch with Crunch Dad. I'm going to pick up some Mexican food on the way right now to do some of my errands. I'm going to go um, drop off some Amazon returns and then um, I'm going to head over and pick up some groceries. I'll probably go to Costco. Um, but yeah, come with me. Let's go get some food because I'm pretty hungry. Let's go. Oh yeah, and it's, and it's raining. So you got to drive safe when it's raining. Alright, so we're going to go to Lorena's. I don't know if you guys can see it because do this. That might work out. Uh, one, one second. Let me take a look real quick. So I've got the breakfast, chorizo breakfast burrito from Lorena's. So I'm doing the breakfast burrito from Lorena's. Um, I don't know if we've ever actually had this place before, but it's literally on this street that like, we always pass by to get to like Costco and stuff. And I believe it used to be, back in the day, it used to be like a Taco Bell, like one of those walk-up Taco Bells where, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, it used to be a walk-up Taco Bell where, you know, you have a drive-thru and a walk-up window and that was it. There was no like, you know, seating. I don't know if you guys have seen those before. Um, but anyways, it's on like the street corner kind of and I guess the Taco Bell just didn't do that well because there's really nothing else around here it's not even in a plaza with anything else um, it's literally their standalone little area um, but they changed it to this little Venice place and every time I drive by at least there's always at least cars in the drive through um, like literally right now like right now at 10 45 in the morning there was someone in here getting something so I'm assuming it's got to be good or decent because um, they've been in business for at least five or six years now maybe if not longer um, so they must be doing better than Taco Bell which is good thank you, thank you. So I got, I'm gonna put this here, put this here. I got the breakfast burrito. Uh, it's made with chorizo. Um, it's like a Spanish or Mexican breakfast sausage or not a breakfast sausage, it's like a sausage. Um, but I like chorizo a lot actually. So I'm gonna go straight into it. Ooh, this thing is massive. Ooh, hot off the, hot off the grill. Look how huge this thing is. And then what's great is you got the green green sauce and red sauce or salsa, if you guys want to call it. But let's get straight into it. I want to bite it without any um, salsa. Oh, so hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. Mmm. The chorizo has like a really good... Uh, It's got great seasoning. You can see the, the red parts are the um, the chorizo or the sausage. There's egg, cheese, and french fries in here. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna try it with some of the green sauce. Ooh, oh yeah, that's, that's good. Let me throw some green sauce on here. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, but it's so good. Okay. Um, what I wanted to say is, if you guys have, for lunch with Crunch Dad, um, mm, mm, it's so good. Oh, it's delicious. Um, sorry. So for lunch with Crunch Dad, um, I want to answer some questions that you guys leave me. Um, they could be honestly really any questions. Just leave your questions down below in the comments. And I won't... I'm not going to respond to those comments in the comments section. I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, I'll go through and I'll thumbs up them because I see them. But I want to answer them on the next time I do a Lunch with Crunch Dad segment. So leave me a comment. Leave me a couple comments. Leave me a lot of com Leave me some comments um, or questions. Leave me some questions in the comment section on anything. 
Mm. And we'll turn this segment into like a um, lunch with Crunch Dad Q and A kind of a thing, um, and we'll see how that goes. Let's see if uh, let's see if people want to know questions about stuff. It doesn't even have to pertain to myself or Jordan or the Crunch family or Crunch Mom or Crunch Baby. It could literally be questions about: Are you curious about? Korean food? Are you curious about Japanese food? Let us know. Let us know. Give us those questions and if Crunch Mom has to answer them, I will answer them like this. Wait. Or like this. Parentheses or quotation marks? Well, I'm quoting her, so quotation marks. Mmm. Let's go with let's go with the red sauce. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's got a kick. Ooh, ooh, spicy. Mmm, yeah. Oh, it's really spicy. Oh, man, maybe don't sip it like that. But look at this burrito, guys. It is jam-packed with chorizo and french fries. Ooh, just drop some. Um. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what this green sauce is. It reminds me of like, it tastes like pickled jalapenos almost. Oh, it's delicious though. Oh gosh, I'm getting it all over myself. Mmm. Mmm. I was so hungry. You guys have no idea. Um, I didn't have breakfast. I've been trying to do um, some calorie counting. Which is, it's pretty hard, but I'm using this app. Um, it's called a My Fitness, I think. I forgot what it's called. I'm so terrible with names. But, oh God, it's so hot. Oh, the salsa is really hot. Mm. But, um, the app is fine. It's actually pretty good. As long as you're buying mainly American grocery store, um, like chain grocery store products. It's a little bit harder for me because if I use like Asian ingredients, they don't have that pre-listed inside the app so you have to like scan it in write all the info so it takes a little bit more time and it's a little bit more cumbersome when you're trying to just quickly add calories to see how you're doing this burrito is definitely not helping with that mm, but it's so good oh yeah oh um oh gosh it is like it is all that chorizo grease delicious mm. but yeah the app itself it's actually really convenient and great if you're using you know things that you can buy like let's say canned corn and you get like the friendly green giant one you scan the barcode and it already has all the information in there so you could just add it and it tracks all your um, macros which are like your carbs, your fats, your proteins. Um, so it tracks all that stuff, which is great. It's just harder if you use like non-common household food items. But anyways. I'm trying to go with a method to see if it works where I'm, tr I'm counting my calories, I'm working out, and I'm not going to deprive myself of things. If I want something, I'm going to eat it. But I'll have to sacrifice it in other ways. So what does that mean? I'm going to sacrifice, let's say... Let me close this up and put it away. Oh, gosh. I'm so sweaty. And my hair. Look at my hair. Do you guys see this? I need to do something about it. I haven't had my hair this long in, like, so long. If you guys know anyone in the OC area, or if you guys have suggestions on how I should do my hair, can you guys put like a link to like a picture or something on Google so I can like 
like do a Google image search and be like, hey, you should do your hair like this. But anyways, um, so let's say you're gonna eat like a burrito for this instance right here. I'm gonna say that's at least 1200 calories. And my, in the app, it says I should be eating 2,400 calories, which means throughout the day from now until I go to sleep, I have roughly another 1,200 calories. So I could eat another burrito if I wanted to, and that'll be the end of my calories. Or I could eat smaller, healthier meals that'll keep me fuller, like having um, a salad with no dressing, but having, you know, things like broccoli and their cauliflower. I'm not going to not eat calories still. I'm gonna maintain my goal in calories. So that's what I'm gonna do it as. I'm gonna, um, of course, limit the amount of sodium I take in, the amount of sugars I take in. Um, but ultimately, I want to just be healthier. I wanna slowly change my diet. It's not a diet, it's more of a lifestyle change where you're changing your habits. So you're not, I'm, I used to eat like really late at like midnight, which is terrible. Um, so I'm cutting that out, tried things before, but I think right now in my life, I'm, I really want to do it. So I'm taking the time out of my day to actually do it. It does take a lot of time in the day to do it, to prep it, but ultimately in my mind, it's worth it. I'll be around longer and I'll be able to enjoy life a little bit better. So take away from this video, leave me some questions down below. It doesn't have to be, you know, about us. It could be about anything. Um, leave us a question. I'll try to answer it on the next Lunch with Crunch Dad. Um, and then, uh, if you're ready for it, just be healthier. Jump. It's New Year's. Everyone's resolution is to be healthier, to go on a cra crazy diet. Don't change so dramatically. It, it won't last. You change fast, you're going to change back fast. So... Small changes, small changes, small little things to improve your daily day life. Take that time to do that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm so full from eating that burrito. I gotta wash my hands. I think that grease just got into my eye. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Crunch Bro.